Alright, what's up guys? YouTube people, the world of the tube. It's your boy and I'm back on my bike. I uh this is my first time riding since I had that accident. Mm. First time. Uh. Two weeks ago. Almost two weeks ago. Two weeks ago tomorrow. I've made repairs. Um got some new handlebars though they're still crooked and what I think it is is this top plate this top clamp was bent and I ordered another one it just hasn't come in yet but I got some pro taper handlebars some uh, fiddle top grips I moved my mirror to this side to the left side so um, I'm gonna have to get used to that my plastics are still skinned up. I ordered some uh, new radiator shrouds, but ordered them the same time I ordered everything else, and they still haven't come in yet. So, whatever's up with that, I don't know. What else? Oh, I put a strobe, a strobing tail light in module. So when you hit the brakes, um, the strobes four times fast, four times slow, and then stays on. So I put that in. Even though that had, I don't guess it had anything to do with the crash. I don't know. Um, I, I still don't remember anything from the crash whatsoever. Okay, you don't know nothing. There's no oh shit moment where I'm like, you know, realizing that everything is going sour and, and it's about to be a really bad time. I don't have that. I still don't remember anything except putting on some pants and getting and and that's it. I don't even remember leaving the house. I'm healed up. This my right arm's pretty much healed up. All the scabs are gone. I have a little one on this arm. It's like that big, but it's better than the, you know, how big it was. Um, my rib, my rib still hurts like I'm, you know, still hurts bad. But I just had to get out, ride again. Um, the bike otherwise is is fine i mean oh new clutch levers new clutch lever brake lever um i put a r6 throttle one of those r6 throttle tubes on here and it's supposed to shorten the throw but we'll see my wheelie game has probably fell all the way off it's been two weeks since I rode. I really, for whatever reason, crashing your motorcycle um, gives you that sense of doubt. Even though I don't remember what happened, I still have that that little bit of doubt in my head. Like you know, was it was it something I could have avoided? Was it something that was my fault, or was it just something that happened and? You know, it could have happened to anybody and couldn't have been avoided. So I don't have those answers. It's, it's a little, honestly, it's a little weird to be back on the bike. Before, you know, you get real confident riding and um, with how everything is on your bike. But uh, I'm just going to have to get used to it again. You know, two weeks is, I went two weeks before not being able to ride my bike because of rain and weather or whatever but uh being off for two weeks because you crashed and you're hurt is different it's a little bit of a different uh feeling getting back on your on your motorcycle like that i'm in my highway helmet the scorpion helmet uh, my bell got ate up, so it's done. I'm not going to wear it again. So I, I still need to order another helmet. I'll probably just get the same helmet because that was a comfortable helmet. This helmet is great um, as far as, uh, you know, riding on the highway and steady high speed because it doesn't have any kind of drag on it. But for the city, man, it's hot. It's hot. I mean, it has plenty of vents, but man it don't it don't vent as well as I uh, as that MX-9 adventure does oh 
slow, but wow, it feels good. Bikes ride nice. The crooked handlebars are bugging the shit out of me. I got, I got to get over that. Hopefully, Gadiel will get me that that top clamp. I got it from uh, the dude that runs the DRZ page on Facebook. He's usually pretty good about his delivery times. I'll get that new one on there, and uh, we'll see if it uh, cleans up the handlebar look. As far as, because you can tell, like, this is a little bit off, like a couple degrees. Um, and you can tell by the spacers right here, the indicators, how this one is just a little bit higher than that one. That boy was bent like this like if you can tell it was like that and i uh i just bolted it down but uh these pro taper bars man i like the black on black i'm going to get something to cover up this the yellow decals on the side and uh take the rest of them off until i decide what full decal kit i want to go with i have a couple that i'm trying to choose between i want to try a wheelie i've tried one wheelie and it's just I'm just not there, man, you know? I'm sure to come back. That's my first crash, my glove. I'm wearing the gloves I wore that night. You can see the glove is ate up. That's where I, you can see my scab underneath where it got ate up. And over here where I landed, busted my watch. Don't want to do it again, road rash sucks. We're looking for a vinyl shop. I'm going to get a piece of vinyl just to cover up this tank graphic, just take the take the yellow out of it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably just going to get a uh, piece of red, see if they can print something on it. You know, because honestly, I'm not trying to spend too much. It's just a, it's just like something to do till I get my other graphics on it. So it's not going to be on long, maybe a month, if that. Is this it. No, this ain't it. I might have to bust out Google Maps here. Directions, where is it? Oh, okay. comfortable with it again first wheelie back wheelie clap wheelie clap do you know what would suck is if um first wheelie in after getting into a wreck i get a ticket that'd be terrible i'd sell my bike straight up <laughs> all right vinyl shop It's here we go, here we go. Not a very good spot, but okay. Alright, let me roll up in here, talk with these guys for a minute. I'll holler at y'all. Alright, so I realized my dilemma. Whenever I got out of the vinyl shop, I don't have anywhere to stash it. I didn't bring a backpack, and they're 12 by 12 pieces, so rolled it up and stuck it in the handlebars, and uh, hopefully it'll stay. We'll see. I didn't come out of the gate on a wheelie for that one. There's a cop right there. Boy, this shirt is cool with the wind blowing. I really want to wear this um, underneath like a motocross jersey. So I think I'm going to buy a couple motocross jerseys to wear when I ride and wear this. Because I was I was wearing a t-shirt when I crashed. And these jeans. And uh, oh, it sucked, bro suck bad babe well I, you know I, I don't know too much about the crash but 
I know definitely the uh, recovery part did. Why are you breaking? You gonna turn? There's a turn lane for you right there. So yo, on a personal note, about two years ago, we'll say August of 2017, I was uh, in the best shape of my life. And I, I was working outside doing underground utility construction, working out doing high intensity workouts like four times a day, four times a week. And um, I got this new job I'm at now. And it's a, it's a 12 hour shift work job. So I'm inside 12 hours of the day. Sitting at a desk and not doing anything. I have about a 45 minute commute on a good day. So I spend 12, 13, 13 and a half, almost 14 hours away, like involved in work. And, um, so I fell off, man. And, and when I got the job, all my coworkers were like, yeah, you'll, you'll weigh, you'll uh, gain 30 pounds. Everybody gains 30 pounds when they start a the job. And I'm like, nah, man, not me, dude. You know what I mean? Like I've got it, I've got it under control. And I did for a while, but you know, man, we have lots of luncheons, lots of food being brought into the department. Um, we have birthday cakes. <laughs> brought into our uh, department every at the beginning of every month so you know it's like food abundant and we have a gym also but I, I'm just gonna be honest it took me a while to get used to my schedule because I, I work four 12-hour shifts straight but it's two day shifts you get off your second day shift and you go back in the following night for your two night shifts so you get you know 12 12 you get off at six o'clock in the p.m and then the next day you got to get back at the work at six o'clock in the p.m so it kind of messes up your your routine if you have one you can't really get in a true routine also my days move forward every week so if i start monday one week the next week i start tuesday the next week i start wednesday the next week i start thursday so you know but i get four days off anyway i'm rambling I gained 40 pounds over the course of one and a half years. Um, this past this past January, I weighed myself and I weighed more than I had ever weighed before in my life. And so I just made the decision that I wasn't gonna live like that anymore. And I wanted to get back to myself, to the way I, you know, to what I was when I got that job. And so I've been on that journey now for, well, Honestly, I'm going to say March because I really wasn't serious about it till about March and so I weighed 206 pounds in March and now I'm down to uh, 176 so you know diet and exercise has been doing me right I want to get down I'm just doing cardio man I'm not really lifting too many weights I'm just really doing cardio and um trying to get back into shape and once I get down to like my target weight somewhere in the 60s got about another 10 15 pounds to lose then I'm gonna start uh, lifting weights and trying to bulk up and gain a little bit of that weight back in muscle so I've been working hard at it man peanut butter and cottage cheese man lots of protein no carbs I would like to call it a keto diet but I'm not eating all that fat like I still like eating bacon and stuff, but I'm not eating all the, you know, uh, coconut oil and uh, what's that other stuff called? Uh, ghee, like butter with ghee in it. Like, man, I ain't, I just don't eat bread, man. You know what I mean? That pretty much sums up my diet. Exercising is treadmill, elliptical, jumping rope. Uh, kettlebell swings um, 
some some with some a little bit of upper body mix in there but uh feeling a lot better i was going to step up my exercise routine the week the week after the crash but man that that's bruised rib i have man is freaking killing me like it's putting a hamper on quite a bit so but i'm gonna get back to it soon enough <laughs> 